Hey guys, it's Grim from Skeleton Crew, and today I'm going to be doing a video review on my ICS G33. Well, here's the ICS G33 in the box that it comes in. You open it up here and the first thing you'll see is your cleaning on jamming rod. The CD-ROM from ICS which has a lot of cool pictures and other guns that they sell. The basic standard manual. Um, open it up here, it has some breakdown parts, how to adjust your hop up. Pretty basic. The gun also comes in tan, if you'd like to pick one up in tan. Comes with a nice uh, sample pack of BBs, I believe that's about 500.2s. A 300 round high capacity magazine, which is very nice. And then the gun itself. Which yours will come with a standard G36 flash hider in orange, but I put my M4 birdcage on here. But anyway, here's the gun. Stock opens up. And there you go. A couple things to note. This gun is entirely polymer, but it's extremely durable. I believe most G36s are made out of plastic, and uh, this plastic just seems to be a lot nicer than like JG or any of the other G36s you might see out there. Um, I'd say it's right up there with KWA as far as uh, ruggedness and durability. Uh, this gun does have a folding stock, which I don't really use often, but uh, it's really nice for storage purposes. It does have a couple different adjustments, but I like to keep it on the closest one. And it has a nice rubberized pad on here, which snugs really nicely into your shoulder. Um, the hop-up on this gun is extremely good. I usually run .3s in this thing, and I can still get them to sail way up into the sky. So it comes with a really nice hop-up unit. Um, so .3s and my 11.1 is, is really nice combo out of the box. This thing shoots clean, about 20 BBs a second. It's just a nice stream of white coming out of this thing. And it cuts down bushes and anyone on the other side of it is probably going to get hit and not enjoy themselves too much. So definitely if you're looking for a G36 variant, this is the one to get. Um, extremely well built, extremely nice shooting gun out of the box. Uh, right on that nice field 400 FPS mark which is perfect. Um, you could downgrade it if you wanted to use it for CQB, but this is just such a nice gun out of the box. I didn't want to touch anything, so I haven't. Gearbox has never been opened. Um, basically, I'm just going to keep running it the way it is, and if anything does break down the line, then I will replace it. But until then, I really don't see the need. This gun is extremely loud out of the box, really snappy, so I'd recommend getting a nice foam-filled suppressor on there just to quiet it down. It sounds a lot smoother. And uh, as far as ergonomics go, this thing is just really nice. I've always liked the way G36 is felt, and I think this one feels even better than most of them out there. It's just really ergonomic, and uh, has a nice one-point sling mount here, and I like to just drop the gun and switch to my sidearm when needed. One thing that's really nice about the ICS G33 is the fact that it comes with a M4 mag well. Um, that's the main reason why I picked it up, because... Personally, I didn't really like G36 mags. I don't like how they're really bulky and you'd have to get new pat pouches on your rig and everything. So if you already have a couple M4s and you kind of just want to pick up another AG, the ICS G33 is perfect for that because it's such a nice gun out of the box and it'll fit all the M4 mags you already have. Just throw it into your typical loadout and uh, have some fun. This is a really nice gun. Probably the only con to this gun is the charging handle, and I think that tends to be common with most G36s. It's just not very satisfying or realistic, but that's not really a big deal to me, because um, this gun just shoots so damn great, I don't really care about anything else. So uh, I'd highly recommend picking one of these up. It's a great, great gun, and uh, if you're looking for a G36, then I'd say this is definitely the one to get. Now here's a little bit of gameplay for you guys. Oh! Air Splat is having a 30% off sale right now, so you might be able to pick this gun up on their website for 30% off. Um, they typically retail for about $250 brand new, 
So 30% off of that, I mean, that's a great price. I highly recommend picking one up if you have the money for it. Thank you guys for watching this video review. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Please stay tuned for more video reviews from myself and other members from Skeleton Crew. And uh, if you can take the time, maybe go over to Facebook and give Skeleton Crew a like. We'd love that. And uh, just give us some feedback on what you think. And uh, that would really help us out. So just thank you guys for watching. And uh, remember to stay safe, stay classy, and have a good time.